We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for ya. In this video, we are going to begin painting this Shadow Sun Mini. And we're going to do an alternate paint scheme than the traditional white. We're going to do a really dark armor. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. Also, just as a side note, I want to point out that I am aware that she is missing the antenna on the shoulder pad. But that's not going to affect this painting step in any way. So we want to paint this as black armor. However, we really want to line all of the edges. But our first step is going to be to create a little bit of light sourcing towards the top of the armor and the front, just to make it seem a little bit more dynamic. So we're going to begin with the color Skaven Blight Dinge. And I'm going to mix this up real quick and throw it in my airbrush. And I just want to spray this color on the front of the armor, mostly towards the top. And I'm going to kind of create a small glow that's centered on where the head is on the armor. I don't want to spray this color over all of the model. I'm just applying short, small bursts of paint and slowly building up the color just at the very top and more towards the front. I'm also going to make sure that I flip the model around and get a little bit of this on the top of her backpack as well. After I finish with the Skaven Blight Dinge, I'm going to do the same thing with Rust Gray. And I don't want to use a lot of this color. I'm really just spraying the very front in a small circle that's centered right where that head is. Again, kind of creating a glow and bringing the light towards that area since I want that section of the model to really be my focal point. All right, now that I've finished with the airbrushing, I'm going to go back with my Skaven Blight Dinge. I'm going to mix a little bit of Lamian Medium into my paint. And I'm just going to use a detail brush and I'm going to line every hard edge on these armor plates. This color is a really dark gray and since we airbrushed this paint onto the armor already, there's going to be sections where it doesn't show up as much. However, we're going to line it anyway just because we want to make sure that we have a solid outline of this color on all of the sharp edges. We really want to concentrate on these areas right in the front where we've got these square shapes. There's hard lines on the legs, as well as all of the boxy detailing on the arms. We want to outline all of the details on the helmet, just really anywhere that I can find a solid straight line. I'm going to do a thin outline using this color. Next, I'm going to do the same thing with rust gray. I'm going to mix it with Lamian Medium, and I'm going to switch to an even smaller detail brush. And I'm going to do a thinner outline on all of the edges with this color as well. Now since this color is a lot lighter than the black and the Skaven Blight Dinge, this is where you're really going to see all of those edges begin to stand out. Any time that I can use the side of my brush instead of the tip, and kind of place it on the model at a 45 degree angle and let the shape of that edge help me define my line. I'm going to do that just because it requires less brush control and it's really quick. And anytime that I can't do that because of the angle of the model, I just wanna make sure that I really brace my hands at as many points as possible to create a solid support for the hand that's holding the brush. So I've got my palm braced against my other hand, I have my fingers braced against each other, and I've got my elbows braced against the table as well. All right, once I've outlined everything with that rust gray as well, I'm going to go back with a little bit of Abaddon Black. And I have two goals with this step. The first is going to be to clean up some of my lines, and the second is going to be to really accentuate the darkness in a few areas. So for example, the gap in the front of this helmet, I wanna make sure that I have black in that recessed area so that my bright outline really stands out. The same on this with this tau symbol on the front of the chest armor. I'm gonna kind of use this to create a shadow to exaggerate my bright outline a little bit more. And one place that I'm going to do this is going to be on the thighs. So right next to my outline on the top area, 
I'm going to paint a thin line of black right underneath it just to exaggerate that shadow and make that bright outline stand out even more. And after that black step, I'm going to take a little bit of Fenrisian gray and I'm going to continue to brighten my lining on the armor. I really want to make sure that I use this color to outline all of the edges on the front of the helmet and then also to catch a few areas like the top of the shoulders and the top of the backpack. Those places that I've already picked out as being the areas that are going to be in the most light and the areas that I want to bring the eye to and have be the focal point of the model. I'm not necessarily applying this as a full edge highlight like I have with my previous colors. I'm mostly using it to catch some of the corners and bring just an extra pop of attention and brightness to some of the shapes on the armor. All right, and with that last highlight, the base work for this black armor is complete. This gives us a really nice starting point, and as we start to pick out some of the other elements on Shadow Sun, it's going to begin to come alive and make everything stand out more. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I do some basing on a Commander Sorsha model in the mini wargaming vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a seven day free trial, and get access to my video, as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini wargaming vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy wargaming.